Hey guys, I'm Trent. I'm Michael. In this video, we're going to show you how to use World Edit on your Minehut server. Okay, so our server is online, and this video is a little bit more advanced again, and it shows us some plugin specific tutorials. So if you don't know how to install plugins, how to OP yourself, we've got videos for that, right, Michael? Absolutely. Just back out of this one, go check out the rest of our videos. We even have a whole playlist of the basics. So get yourself caught up first, and then come back. Okay, so we're on our panel, and our server's online, but remember, we wanna... the panel is minehut.com. Yes, minehut.com. We're gonna go over to the plugins tab on the left side here click plugins and then the plugin that we're talking about today is world edit Ooh. we're gonna search there's a couple of different ones and like async world edit you can get into later if you're doing huge world edits mm -hmm. to start we're just gonna use the, the regular the OG the world edit mm -hmm. pop to the other side and click install plugin there's that green check mark nice little check mark and then we're gonna go over to installed and we can see that all we have installed in this server now is world edit well cool. we're gonna go back over to the home tab up top and then to get the plugin to install, we of course need to restart our server. Standard Minehut operating procedure. So we're gonna hit stop and wait. Stop in the name of love. Offline. <laughs> and then we're going to start our server again. Should probably start up soon. Yep. Wow. Ta-da. <laughs> what a guy. Okay, so Why our server's online. <laughs> Probably keep me around, friend. <laughs> exactly. He just knows when it, if you're ever wondering when your server is going to start up, just ask Michael and he'll be like, now. <laughs> the mine hut was mine hut was mine hut. Was okay, so our server's online. We installed the World Edit plugin. We're going to go back in game. And now we're going to show you guys how to use the World Edit plugin here. So I am already an OP on my server. If you don't know how to do that, we have a video for that as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to type slash PL and we can see that World Edit is indeed installed. And now I am also already in creative mode just because I'm going to be flying around a little bit and it is usually easier to do World Edit in creative mode yourself. So the first thing that we want to do is type slash slash two slashes and then get the infamous world edit wand and here it is and I have it in my left hand because that's what we're doing mm -hmm. so the first thing I want to do is just we, ha we have a lot of sand here and I just want to change that to a different block like okay. it, wouldn't it be prettier if this was as grass sure so I'm gonna left click that and that's gonna tell me that my first position is set mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go click over here and right click and that's going to tell me my second position is set. And that cool. creates a cube. So if I were to select up here, that's a 3D cube, it would do Ooh. two levels. So I'm going to do this one to start. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is do another slash, slash, set. And then we're just going to set this to grass. Cool. Well, OK. I guess it, it, it didn't, it, that set it to like that. that oh, that kind of, yeah, that's not, not that's, a grass that's, block. That's my bad. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're going to do slash set, and we're just going to change it to dirt. And then there it is. Okay. Ah. Yeah. So that changes it to dirt. That those, those seeds, seeds are still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of those guys. Nice. Yeah. So now you can make just really big plots of one thing really quickly. Exactly. And then now say that this just didn't work out that well. I'm going to do slash slash undo. And that's just going to undo that last world edit. Oh. And then let's see if we can undo another one. And then just bring back the sand. Yep, there it is. And now it's just back how it was before. Like I didn't make any mistakes. Uh, yeah, I, I feel better now. There, there we go. It's exactly. Yeah. It's I don't like change. <laughs> Okay, the next thing that we might wanna do is create a very ugly house. So to do this, we're gonna create just like some, some four walls real quick. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna select the bottom there. Okay. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna create a corner and I'm gonna just build up a little bit. Okay. Okay, and oh, then because this, this will just make it easier to right click on this corner. Exactly. I, I could, there, there are different ways you can do that, but that, that's just easier for me to do really quickly. Mm -hmm. So I am going to create a very boxy house. So I'm going to do slash slash walls and then stone. And you right click to the top of this pillar. Yeah. Right? So I, yeah, I reset my second position mm -hmm. up here, and then my first position is down there somewhere. Yep. I'm going to do walls stone, and that should just create a key, like a walls around what we just selected. Whoa. Yeah. There it is. Aha. So now this is a a pretty ugly house for sure so we're gonna we're gonna redo this a little bit so we still have the same block selected so if i do another world edit it's going to use the same selection mm -hmm. so we're gonna do slash slash walls and then we're gonna do a combination of stone and then let's say glass and then dirt just to, just to throw that okay. in there and then this will randomly assort this these walls with those three blocks and there it is 
So this is now our beautiful house. It's so modern. It's, yes, it is. It, it, it's really cool. So the next thing that I might want to do is I we we put this in a bad spot to be honest. Like it's it's a good beachfront property, but I I kind of like being <laughs> with, over with, with global warming. We probably want to move to higher ex ground. Exactly. We we need we need to move away. The tide's coming up. Mm -hmm. We only got a couple of weeks left in this, so I am gonna move it somewhere else. Okay. So there are two ways I could do this. I could copy or I could cut. And because I don't want this house here anymore, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it. Okay. So I'm gonna do slash slash cut. And it's because you have the same chunk. Selected. Yeah, yeah, I already you don't have, have to do anything. You just do slash slash exactly, cut. Exactly, exactly. Slash slash cut. Bam, it's gone. Whoa. Nice. And then we're going to go move it over. Hmm, where, where's we, yeah, we got to move it up here somewhere. No, there, there's just there's a lot of a lot of beast from property. We got to go to the woods. Okay. Yeah. And we need to remember exactly where I was when I did slash slash cut mm -hmm. because the, the cut was relative to where I was. So if I stood down here and did the paste, it would put the house below me. And uh, I don't want to do it in you're ground. pretty high. Yeah, so, so I'm going to move it. I, I, I should have tr kept track of this better. I'm just going to guess, and I'm going to do a slash slash paste now. Okay. I'm just going to paste exactly what we had. So I think there's a little bit of sand on the bottom too, but we're, we're going to put it right there. Yep. Yep, there it is. Cool. So now our house is in the middle of the woods. You can get into it from underneath, and it's, um, I don't think I would want to live here, but somebody could, and they would be safe from the ocean. I like it. Yes. Um, okay, so now I'm less sure about the, the dirt in this house, mm -hmm. to be honest, so I'm going to change it to something else, but I don't want to change all the other blocks, and I really like the assortment of stone and glass that uh -huh. we have. So I, yeah, exactly. So I am gonna, yeah, stand in the center here. I see, I see, I see what you're thinking. And then I'm gonna do replace near. And oh. this is gonna give, yeah. So I'm gonna be able to replace a certain type of block, like in a certain radius. So I, I would say it's probably about, well, let's just give it 15 blocks. Okay. So yeah, a 15 block radius. And then we're gonna replace the stone with brick. Let's, let's just say yeah, okay. brick. Um, I right. thought you didn't like the dirt, but we can replace the stone oh, too. Oh, you're, you're, cool. you're, you're right. Dirt. That, it's, <laughs> it's gonna replace all the stuff on the ground too, but that's, oh, that, yeah. that, that's okay. And then we're gonna go with bricks, and we're gonna see what happens. Nice. Sick. There we go. And yeah, 2100 blocks replaced. If we dug down, there's gonna be, if, if we look here. Oh! <laughs> There's, there's all the bricks down Hidden there too. Bricks. Yep, yep, there, yeah, they are all the way down into like a, yep, yep. a nice 15 block radius. Nice. <laughs> mine hut whiz, mine hut whiz, mine hut whiz, mine hut whiz, mine hut whiz. Okay, so we have this little mountainside here, and it looks really cool with the sand and the grass and the dirt. Oh, natural. Yeah, I, I want to change this from sand to glass. Let's let's just say we want to change it from sand to glass. Okay. So there's another way to replace. So just to make sure that we have as much as possible, I'm gonna left click down there, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna right click up here. Okay, so that, now that, you've built like a big invisible cube, you know what, but those are the corners, right? You know what, yeah, I, I actually think this is probably a better spot to select. So yeah, we're cool. gonna right click, that changed our, just our select, second selection point up to that. Um, so now we just wanna make sure that we're only replacing the, the sand with glass, not any of the grass. Mm. So now we're just gonna do replace, and not near, just replace, and we're gonna do sand, and then glass, and that will replace all the sand in our selection with, with glass. glass. And there it is. Cool. <gasps> oh, there's some lava. There's a there's a, a chest. Oh. Whoa. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> heart of the a heart sea. Of the sea? <laughs> what is this? Acquire hardware. <laughs> this was a surprise. I did. This is a fresh world. This is actually. This is not I don't know what this is. This is buried treasure, man. <laughs> we found the treasure. Yes. We didn't need a map. All right. Very cool. <laughs> Unsuspecting tutorial. Okay. Uh, <laughs> People are going to say it was planned, but it that wasn't. Was not, it was not planned. I was like, like. I think he promised not plan, <laughs> right? So actually a good point here, if we want to find other chests, what I, what I could do here is I'm going to, I'm going to dig down a little bit uh -huh. and then I'm just going to, yeah, digging straight down. I'm in creative mode. It's fine. I'm going to let, I'm going to left click down there and then I'm going to right click up here mm -hmm. and we just want to count how many chests are within that selection. Okay. And, and that chest should be, cause we're, yeah, we're over there. So all we're going to do is we're going to do slash slash count okay. and we're going to do chest. And one. And it's one. Yeah, it's so one. that's the one. Yep. If we were to do slash slash count sand, a lot of sand. Mm. So yeah, this is really good if you're like trying to, you can make a big selection and try to find out how many types of blocks you have in that certain selection. Great way to be able to do that. 
Okay, so here's a problem. We have a tree on fire and we want to not have it be on fire. So oh. really quick, we're gonna do slash slash X for extinguish and then a radius. And then that's just gonna extinguish the fire. World that it's great. It lets you do a lot of different things like that. And to be honest, if you're like, oh my God, my world's about to like burn down, just extinguish it. Rest in peace, yep. Loge. We're gonna my do my first ever survival map. Right. We're gonna we're gonna replay that real quick because we really like setting fires. I I tried to build a a, a lava yeah uh, fireplace and we're just gonna extinguish it in a wooden lodge. <gasps> there we go. One block burned, but we got it after that. And then it tells us 15 blocks were extinguished. Very cool. Yep. And that is how you do basic world edit on your Minehut server.